Hello, hello. <clears throat> I am back with the newest box in the Black Mule Society subscription. This is bi-monthly. Last year there was a wait list. I will link the information down below. This one has the theme all about cross stitch. And so I'm very excited. I have cut the tape, but it just arrived a few minutes ago. So no peeking. I have seen a couple of spoilers. But like we knew there was gonna be fabric, right? And I know there's a like misprint in the chart. So here's what we have when we open it. So those are the spoilers I know of, but slow down, slow down. <laughs> but here we go. Nothing but cross stitch. I was close enough. I never remember to post, so of course I don't have any photos here. And then we've got all the stuff there. And then a note from the ladies and currently available cozy kitchen stitching. Ooh, that thing sounds amazing too. Yes. Okay. We got some crinklies. We got a little box. Specialty floss. They always use the same box. This is what the boxes, like the shipping boxes used to look like. They're very cool. I still have a couple of them. They're my favorites. They're probably not as eco-friendly, but they look amazing. What do we have for floss? Oh, some nice autumn colors. Classic color works. These look like colors I might, oh, maybe possibly be able to order again. They're lovely. We are kind of finishing fall right now. It's um, frosted the last three nights, I think. So we pulled everything out of the garden. That's done. Barley's cut. Oats are cut. Yeah, all that stuff is done. Our leaves are falling, but they've stayed on the trees much longer than some years. Some years they turn and fall within a couple of weeks, and we still have dressed trees. Like, they're not all naked. So it's lovely. We've got really nice yellows and golds. Of course, a couple shades of green because the birch go light and the evergreen are dark. And then we don't have a lot of reds. This is more of a brown. Well, it's a brown red. Um, we don't have a lot of reds up here. There's a tree in our front yard. We don't know what it is. It came with the house, but it's a red, 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 like dark red. <laughs> um, so there's, there's not a lot of this brown color around, but really nice palette. I wonder if these are limited edition. I really hope not. Specialty floss dyed by Classic Colorworks. Yes, you guys can see that. We asked Classic Colorworks to put together a palette of fall inspired colors from their standard line of threads. Yes. We think these will look great in the new fall project or substituted into our pattern of the month. These are gorgeous. Love these. And I doubt I have any of them. I don't really. I buy fancy floss, but it's always D stash. I never know if. Well, sometimes they claim their new skeins or they'll say it was used and this looks new just put on a different floss drop or something so you know I I buy them that way once in a while but I never really buy them that way. but these are gorgeous and their colors I'm definitely happy to have okay so there's your specialty floss Ooh, we've got needles look at that oh and a little box pony black tapestry not nickel plated oh yeah because some people have that nickel allergy size 26 times six needles Okay. Pony black. Never heard of them. Long eye and blunt point for cross stitch and needle point. Patent pending. Made in India. Okay, so. Oh, well, now I know everything that's in here. But I can't find the needles. <laughs> Where in the world? No? Oh, pony black hypoallergenic tapestry needles with white eye. That's why I missed it. Because that is a long title for jet black needles which is what or pony black pony black needles which is what I was looking for made by pony needles guess what these are actual black needles no there are actual black needles that exist oh look at that the bottom is black and the top is white that's very interesting our stitching friend found these and gave us a couple to try we couldn't resist sending a pack to test yourself these black needles are great for stitchers with metal sensitivity they come in two styles completely black and with a white eye the white eye is meant to be easier to thread that's really, really cool. I already have a collection of needles, including some Pat Carson that I ordered like the month before everyone found out they were going to be discontinued, so I had no idea. I was just trying to get to free shipping from cross stitching supplies. I needed a piece of fabric, a couple of different pieces of fabric, and 
it was either pay $4 shipping or spend $4 on something. And so I grabbed a couple packs of needles. There were only five packs um, to try. And that was one of them because they're so amazing. Well, now I'm afraid to try them because I can't get them anymore. And anyway, <laughs> so I've got like a little collection of, I think I have some John Jane Petit's Mary Arden. That was the other one I ordered that same day. The ones I just told you about. I think I have another one too. So now I've got like five different kinds of needles. Who knows what kind I use right now. I bought them in bulk on Etsy when I very first started stitching and I have no idea what they are. I just use them. I know which ones I don't like. If you like Lori Holt, skip ahead. I don't like the Lori Holt needles. The eyes are like they're all color coded and everything so I know every time I find a yellow one that's a Lori Holt and you can tell because the eyes are bigger than the shaft of the needle like disproportionately so and I didn't think anything about it when I first started stitching and used them but now I really see a difference I do not like them I will not use them so that sounds terrible but anyway yeah mostly black white eye I need to try some new needles needles so far so good I'm really excited I'm talking really fast Plus, I haven't recorded in a long, long time, so <laughs> I feel like there's a whole bunch to tell you. Ah, vinyl sticker. At least I'm guessing it's vinyl. Cross stitch is my therapy. That's really cool. I would put that on the front of my new journal, like stitchy journal thing. Here's the one from last year, the Black Needle one. Buying this. Spoiler. Sorry, Black Needle. I know you, you watch a lot of these videos, but getting the journal and then paying the shipping on it made this just under $50, which I was not doing. So... I am making my own this year, but this, the book is pink. And I don't know that this is going to look fantastic. I'll have to see. I think I took it, yeah, I took it over to my table. I was testing watercolor stuff. So, it might look okay. There is a little pink here. It's a good size for it, so we'll have to see. Otherwise, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Uh, let's read about it before I forget. I can't find anything. That's not it. That's not it. Oh! Sticker is called a sticker. Cross stitch is my therapy sticker designed by Kith Kitster Crunk. Where will you use this exclusive cross stitch sticker to show off your stitchy pride? I just answered that. Moving on. <laughs> the needle minder, which you don't have to tear to open. Oh, those are cute and seasonal. Okay, so a little look at the magnet. Uh, a little minder, great size with a huge magnet. They're not both that big, but they're both large. This one's got to be like three quarter inch, and this is a half inch. Wow. Okay. Let's read about it. That's super cute. It looks like it's tulip pink inspired, doesn't it? All you quilty fabric people, it looks like it's tulip pink inspired. They're by Kelms. No, just kidding. There's another scissor thing in here. No, that's not it. Snip Snap Needle Minder. There we go. It has no scissor in the name. Designed by the Black Needle Society. It's our two favorite stitching accessories in one. Scissors and a needle minder with a little fall flare. So, yeah, they like uh, Tulip Pink. Oh, that's really got a little inspiration from that. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Four for four. Uh, yes, I knew this was going to be in here because I saw somebody wanting to trade. Her fabric, she forgot. If you're getting these boxes, if you're like new and didn't realize, sometimes they send out an email related, like your order has shipped, this order has been processed, like that. It's pick your preferences email and you have a limited, I don't know how much time, a week or whatever. I always do it when I first see it because I don't want to forget. Because you put in your fabric preference. If you forget your preference, they can send you whatever. And I... I don't want Ada. <laughs> I, I want linen or even weave. And so I always put that right in there as soon as I get up. I usually check emails in the morning and get my preference in. So we have a 32 count 8th yard butter crunch. I've never stitched on needle bleeding. It's nice. A little bit stiffer than the last fabric I was using. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever kind that was. I know what project it was left over from. And I know where I ordered it from, but I don't know what kind it is. I have to go back and look at my records from my first year of stitching and figure it out because for some reason, 
I didn't leave the tag on the rest of the fabric. So anyway, that really helps, doesn't it? It's a little bit stiffer than that. Um, it's got a green tint to it. At least it does in this light down here. Butter crunch, right? Yeah, butter crunch. So kind of a yellowy gold with a hint of green. Does that help? Hopefully. And I'm pretty sure this looks fatty. We'll just call it an eighth. Coming from Quilting World, it's kind of different knowing that everyone... How do I phrase this? In the stitch universe, everyone uses fat eighth and eighth yard interchangeably, where it's quilting that is completely different. Same with fat quarters and quarter yard and fat half and a half yard, like all the way up to your full yard. Those kind of things are really different, but this is most definitely a fat eighth. Oh, and let's read about it before I forget. Butter crunch fabric. It's all one word here, and I thought it had been two words. It is two words on here. It's one word. I found it. It was fast. Here we go. Dyed by Needle Bling Designs. When planning this box, we couldn't resist sending one of our new favorite fabrics out to all of our society stitchers. Butter Crunch is a standard color at Needle Bling Designs, and it's a perfect neutral to warm up the colors of any new project you want to start. Yes, it is very warm, but it definitely has a hint of green in it. Ooh, I wonder if it would look good with that gorgeous. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to try that. I want to start her, but I'm not sure I've got the right fabric with her, so I'll have to give it a try. Very plain, unassuming brown box. No, like, made in China with the UPC on it or anything. It's just solid brown. First try. To be stitched. <laughs> oh, that's cute! Probably, like, with a Cricut, cut out the vinyl. I have one of these. It's a baby food jar. It doesn't have the lid on it, but... Um, I have my little gems on the top of the piano. We use them. Lots of stuff. I'm a piano teacher, harp teacher. Anyway, and I was testing the vinyl because I have wall words over here. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it there and up at the end of the hall upstairs. And so I had cut out vinyl and it says doggy treats on it. And they're, they're just little gems that you put at the bottom of fish tanks with nail polish on them. So they're really, really pretty, and the kids love them, and we use them, like I said, for all sorts of things. But this reminds me of that. That was a project from long ago. This one has a nice white lid to be stitched. That is super cute. So, yeah, this could be a very nice little DIY project if you have a um, Cricut machine. I'm looking. Hold on. I'll find it. These things always have a different name than what I'm expecting on the paper. Here we go. It's to be stitched jar and papers. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Designed by the Black Needle Society. Having trouble deciding which project to pick up next? Uses to be stitched jar and papers. There have to be papers in here. To randomly select your next project. Use it for new starts or your current works in progress or a mixture. Fill out the slips of paper with your project information. Stored refers to the location of your project in case you need help remembering where you stashed it. Fold them up and mix in your selection. Okay, so... Oh, I see them. Missed a little thing. To be stitched. They almost look like little stickers, but I think they're just papers because it says fold them up. Whoa. It's very sticky. Coyote. Well, there they are. I thought those were little snowflakes, but they're just X's. We're heading into winter. Everything's all about winter now. <laughs> Two, three, it didn't say how many there were. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. 20? 20. There are 20 cards. There we go. I don't know if I'll use it that way. We will see. I don't usually let anything tell me what to stitch. It just doesn't work out well, but very cute idea. They do fit in there together. So I'm going to store them together and move on to the next item because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. And you probably don't want to hear what I'm doing with it anyway. You're just like, shut up and open the next thing. Okay, here we go. Storklets. Miniature in size, mighty in stipping. Those are adorable. I wonder if they were all black. Super, super cute. Black mini stork scissors. They were all black. Made by Kelm Scott Designs. We know we've sent a fair number of standard size embroidery scissors, or even some a little large for the stitcher's taste. 
So we wanted to shake things up a little this month by sending you a miniature pair instead. Well, I, I care what size they are. I hadn't even noticed. I just... I love them all. We, of course, had to send the iconic stork scissor, but how adorable are these? They really are. They're adorable. I'm going to have to make one of the little... Right here. Hold on. This I'm sending off for a swap. I'm going to have to make one of these for these little guys. <laughs> How cute would that be? Aww. Yeah. This is from a... It's from a magazine. Good thing I write that stuff down. Yeah. I think it was one of the Halloween issues. Not this year, but uh, one of the last two years, because those are the two that I own. These are adorable. Super, super cute. Hopefully my giant, well, my giant thing is really sore. I don't care, but that's okay. My son complains all the time about how big my hands are. Like, Mommy, move your giant hand. Oh, sorry, son. What is this? I can't know what the next thing is. Oh, it says, that's so Kelly right here. Keep your labels. Bitsy keeps come with white labels. These can be reordered through my shop. Use with a friction pen or pencil to just erase and write new info. Oh, okay. So it's the dots and the long strips. Okay. I am not using a friction pen because I have one. I never use it. As soon as I found out that the freezing weather, which like all winter, we have freezing weather because freezing is below 32. So every night we're having freezing weather. Soon we'll have it day and night. So that will make your lines come back. You can erase it and then that will come back. So can you imagine having your old number that you've erased and then having a new number on top of there? And then you go take your project in the car as mom drives you to town or as you go to church with Steven or whatever. And then you have two numbers written there. Mm -hmm. On top of each other? No. Mm -mm. I never use all my fabrics or any of that stuff either because you walk outside with your new bag and boom, you have random lines everywhere. So I won't be using a friction pen, but again, did you care? No, no, probably not. I should just record something normal so that I can talk to people and not have all this random info on an unboxing. But here we go. This is, this. <laughs> that's so Kelly Co. Um, I keep, it's like a laminated cardstock. It's like the size of a project bag. It's big. Best needlework scissors, Bitsy Keep. Made by that So Kelly Co. Let's have you look at it this way just because it's more visually appealing. Use this Bitsy Keep to store threads for your next project. We personally like to use these for DMC projects. And while stitching, you can use the fabric area to keep your floss from floating away. Not to mention that Kelly has hidden a little magnet underneath her logo just in case you forgot to bring a needle minder. Right there. Oh, what is that? Oh, she has iron-ons. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Made specifically for Black Knit Society because BNS. Yeah. It's a nice little design. I love the scissors. The different styles of scissors. Storage. Uh, best needlework scissors. <laughs> the sharp as scissors for the finest needleworkers. All right. Well, there we go. It's all about the scissors. And then I'm guessing I'm going to hang it somewhere. That's what this hole is for. So there we go. I don't my stuff, so I wouldn't use the stickers. <laughs> oh, I am such a rule breaker. But I would just put them on, um, you know, in number order. So here's 152. Yes, I picked purple. And then 210 to 11, we're picking all the purples. And then uh, 310, because we've got to have black in every project. And, you know, I would do them in order like that, all the way up to um, 3862. Is that that golden one I was just using? I don't remember. And then on my card that says what all the notes for the project are and how I've changed things and all the things, I would just have them listed in order with their symbol. And so if it's, if the di I'm using the diamond, it's the fifth one down on the card. I know it's the fifth gloss in. Boom, right there. And then I never have to label anything. I don't have to take them off. I don't have to worry about the friction pen. You know, all the things. So then it, it also stays really cute. Although this is giant <laughs> compared to my project bags. 
I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Maybe I'll just like lay it here on the couch for my evening stitching. I'm not sure. It is cute. I'm just very practical and I'm always like, how am I going to use that? What else can I use that for? Okay. Did I read to you? I did read to you about that. This I already knew about, but they've already sent like correction and you can sign up for the new printed or um, you can download the corrected file online. So a digital thing. I prefer printed. So I signed up for the printed because even if it's digital, I'm going to print it anyway. Oh, so I'm going to let them do that for me. They were very on top of it. I got this email. I think it was in my inbox when I got up yesterday. And then I just got my box. I better wrap this up because I'm pretty sure it was before three o'clock and now it's 3.15 when I sat down to record. So anyway, this is by Mama Witch X Stitch. It's called My Guilty Pleasure. And it says, we love this crafty little cross stitcher and all its woodsy cross stitch creations. We're honored to be able to send a custom pattern from Catherine to our society stitchers this month. She loves to use dark fabric, so it's hard to show, but she has some really, really cool designs. I never stitched one of hers, although I've printed off a couple of her freebies, maybe. Yeah, of course, I don't like the moth because I'm not a moth person, but they put a moon there. And look at the little teapot, and there's some cute stuff. All of these separate ones could be done for an ET series. I really need to make some more of those. <gasps> Full of thread and yeah, that's cute. Pin cushion. This is a stack of threads here, like spools, and then there's another spool of tree right there. There's some really cute elements on that. It is decent size, eight by ten. Uh, where's the stitch count on these things? One forty-five by one sixteen. It's not gonna make the top of the list, but I'll hang on to it and put a sticky on it. Note to self. So. When I do stitch it or part of it, I know that the symbols are not mixed, all mixed up, which also happened on one of my most recent stitches, the Singing Sparrow by Sweetwing Design. No, Sweetwing Studio. That one, the symbols got all mixed up again. So pay attention to corrections because that saved me a lot of time. And again, I noticed it the day before I got my chart. So it saved me a bunch of time, changed all the colors anyway, but you know. <laughs> At least I could change them without having to worry about, oh no, the symbols aren't correct. Now did I, ah, oh, did I paste it off the wrong ones? Yeah, how was it, you know, how's it going to come together? It did. It was fine. It was no big deal. It stitched up very quickly and it's adorable. So, all right, very useful stuff. I will find a place to file the stickers in case someone needs extra stickers or I find another use for these or I just want to be cool and use stickers like everyone else. Sometimes I do feel that, like everyone else is doing it. I should join this Sal. And then two years later, I have a project that I started with Sal that hmm, now I should really restart or whatever. It's for whatever reason, it's not done yet. So it does happen to me. I just try not to let it. And that's it. Wow, that's it. I'm putting all this stuff back in. That's it. So very cool. Love everything. I'll keep you updated on my little jar, what I do with it. Um, I thought originally it was an orc jar, but it was not designed to be just an orc jar. So we'll see. For my house, he might be an orc jar. <laughs> Either way, I'll keep you updated. I'll keep all the information on how you can get a box like this down below in the description box. Until next time, see you.